Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in all y'all. <laughs> Today's video is going to be all about how I extended my tresses, honey. So I went from this to this. So if you'd like to find out how, then keep watching. Oh, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe to join this tribe, y'all, so you don't miss out on all this good, good fun we have around here. Okay, now let's get into this. So I decided to give the wig life a little break and I decided to try her given hair. A lot of you had been asking if I had tried them. So the time had come, I was willing to give them a shot. So I decided to go with their coily hair extensions. And this is the packaging that it comes in, super cute. And I decided to go with their coily clip-ins. So this is the hair fresh out of the package. This is what the curl pattern looks like. And if you're unsure about which curl pattern to choose, they actually have this really cute sample pack that comes with all the different textures. The first thing I did before installing the hair was to co-wash it. So I used some argan oil conditioner to soften it up and my Demon brush to detangle it. And as you can see, the curls change a bit once you actually use the Demon brush and once they're wet, they kind of loosen up a little bit and they start to look a bit more natural and not like that fresh out the packet look, which is like one of my pet peeves in life. So I always come with all my extensions, curly extensions with a Demon brush so that I can get a nice natural looking type coil. Then I laid out all of the pieces separately and I sprayed them with a bit of the Shea Moisture leave-in treatment, which I absolutely love. And I let them sit while I handled my own hair. So I started with freshly washed hair and I'm gonna be working on my hair while it's completely wet. It's much easier for me and saves a lot of time. So I'm gonna start in the back and I'm not just gonna install the clip-ins directly into my hair because I'm going from such a dramatic change in length, I'm actually gonna do a bunch of plaits in the back. So this is perfect for the ladies out there who do not know how to corn row or flat twist y'all. Of course I sprayed the same uh, leave-in conditioner in there as well. And you're just gonna put some plaits in that bad boy. Now the reason I'm doing this um, is because one, with type four hair, when you just let it air dry and leave it for days, kind of just like mixed in there, I find that my hair gets really dry. So I wanna protect it, I want the braids to help keep the hair kind of controlled within the clip-ins, as well as this is gonna really help with blending. This way you're not like starting from a fro and then just trying to add into the fro and then you've got lots of gaps in between now. We wanna put some of the hair away. I'm gonna be actually using two packs, which is still quite a bit of hair, but we still wanna put some of that hair in the back away because it's gonna make your life so much easier when it comes to blending. And then at the ends of those braids, I'm actually not braiding all the way to the ends, but I'm making sure my ends are gonna be nice and sealed and then I'm putting a bit of the Miele Organics um, curl definer on the ends. That way, amongst the clip-ins, my ends will still be these little curls kind of floating around so that we don't have no issues when the wind blows, okay? <laughs> And the great thing about this is, guys, don't even stress about it being neat and perfectly clean. It doesn't need to be. You can make some nice, ugly doo-doo plaits back there because nobody will see them. This is just to give your clip-ins somewhere to go and to keep your hair protected and out of the way while they're in your clip-ins. That way you can even wear them for like a few days. Like I ended up rocking this for like a week. Then I moved on to the front slash side of my head and I'm gonna put this area into one twist so that it will blend nicely with the clip-ins because this part is gonna be a part of my leave out in the front so that I can kind of pin the clip-ins back and have some versatility. And I did that on both sides. Then I started from the bottom and attached the clip-ons to the base of my hair. And this is the beauty of having kinky hair. It is not hard to get these bad boys to stay in. You just like hook them in, pop them in, and those kinks will hold them nice and tight. So once I was done with the section that was all braided, I parted my hair around in like a curved section. I applied some of the leave-in. Then I used the Miel Organics styling gel. This stuff is pretty magical. Talking a lot of hold, shine, definition, and lightweight. Mm. But what's weird is that it's, even though it is lightweight, it still like kind of weighs down my curls in the sense that like, look how well they blend with, with the extensions. You know what I mean? So when they dry, they just dry nicely. I, I don't know how to explain it. Y'all gotta just go and try it, to be honest. <laughs>
So now this last section that's left is going to be all of my leave out in the front slash top portion because I'm going to do a side kind of part type vibes. And you can tell I'm really focused because my lips are just so ashy and I didn't even notice. Like, really, girl? Damn. Okay, anyways, don't judge me. Let's carry on. So then I took the Miller Organics and I defined all of my leave outs. So any hair that I had in the front where I had those little twists, I opened them up across my hairline, all of it. For those wondering, I did end up using almost all of the two packs. I only had in like, I only had like one or two small pieces left. Then I did a bit of shaping. I wanted it to have a bit of layers. I wanted to have body, I wanted to have movement. And then most importantly, I wanted my hair to blend with this hair. So a tip, when I take these out, um, a great way to keep track of kind of where they were is to color coat them with your nail polish so you can say, you know, all green is back pieces and side pieces are another color. So it's cool when you color coat them, that way it's easy for you to know where you use them. That way you don't have to keep cutting layers every time you reinstall. Then last but not least, I wanted everything to dry together. So I use the diffuser at the roots, I use the diffuser on the ends, and I love the diffuser because you can always help mold and shape how you want your hair to look when it's dry. You can elongate curls, you can increase volume at the root, whatever it is that you need to do. So diffusing for me is like a must. Air drying for me doesn't give me enough volume, doesn't give me enough shape or enough control. So yeah. So once it was about 95% dry, I went back in with the scissors just to touch up little pieces here and there that I felt needed a little more shaping and blending. I also went through and opened as many curls as possible. I didn't want a bunch of curls that were all clumped together, so I made sure I opened them up, opened them up, opened them up so I'd get lots of volume and not so much definition so that it looks like too perfect because I like, I love a mixture between a little messy and some definition. And once it's dry, honey, you ready to slay? Yes, I absolutely am in love with this. They're super light. I can't lie loud, y'all. Like I might be taking the wig life for a break because the clip-ins are hella fun right now and I'm thoroughly enjoying them. So if you guys are interested, go down in the description box below, click the link and y'all can enter the world of her given hair clip-ins. All right then. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit subscribe to join this tribe, honey. Let go. Uh, okay, guys. Until next time, I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Namaste. Whisper that she don't drink to set the sheet rolling. Hope I don't think that just that we smoke that I'm gonna hit. I'm like, what you think's a thing?